Welcome to the General Motors Lorestown Assembly Plant in Lorestown, Ohio, the village of Lorestown, Ohio, to be exact. I'm Joseph Napier, Sr., um, producer of this video short. You see in the background the plant, and you see cars and people standing out in tribute to this being the last day of operations at this North American uh, manufacturing plant, uh, March 6, 2019 to be exact. The last Chevy Cruze rolled off the line today. Uh, media came from all over the world to cover this event. In 1963, GM purchased his farmland, and in 1964, building began on one of the more modern plants at the time to be built. The General Motors Lorestown Assembly Plant. Here you see three uh, Detroit executives that came out to symbolize the beginning of that. Um, over 35,000 people applied for jobs. Only 5,700 people were hired. Um, opening day was April 28, 1966. Here you see an aerial view of the plant, uh, which was taken in 1967 to be exact. And here is an exec shaking hands, and the line is fired up. You see Chevy and Pilots coming down the line. The first one to roll off the line was a white four-door sedan, Chevrolet Impala. Uh, which was purchased by um, the county newspaper to be exact the warren tribune owner of the warren tribune purchased the first one off the line he is a 400,000 one that was uh, being trivialized there with the kids in tow here is a 1967 pontiac firebird which uh, had a two-year run at the plant in 1967 the corporation took on building a van plant and a stamping plant which raised the number significantly uh, an additional 7,700 employees were brought on that made it well over 13,400 employees plus would be at the plant here you see the chevy vega which represented the third car to come off the line the vega is getting being uh, ready for train transport here uh, the van plant, like I said, rolled out that same year, 1970. Uh, the Vega had a seven-year run from 1970 to 1977. Here, General Motors goes on strike, the second one in the Lorestown short history. Uh, the, the company lost over $150 million, brought them back to negotiation tables, and they went back to work, if you will. Here is the uh, Buick, if you will, uh, Pontiac, I should say, a stair. Uh, the Cavalier had four different body styles from the SS version all the way up to the regular sedan type that represented the new um, kind of A-frame or J-frame at the time. You see the new era Chevy Cruze era is coming along. If you will, here at the Chevy Cobalts, uh, which were rolling along. The Cobalts were shipped all over the world as well. Here's the first generation body style of the Cruze. I own the black one myself and a silver in a light blue as well as the maroon color one which you'll see later on here is automation which took a lot of well you know took a lot of people's jobs and here's the cobalt bill with pride as you can see the gleam on the employee's face there pride um, here is an SS model of the cobalt um, here's the ready yard if you will parking area where they were waiting to be transported by uh, truck carrier or train transportation if you will Chevy employees standing in solidarity. It was they were more than just employees; they were a family. This is a picture. The first one that was rolled off the line. Governor Strickland of Ohio is in the passenger seat, and a North uh, America executive is behind the steering wheel on the other side of the car. Of course, here is a parts waiting to be put into the next generation of the sleekest, newest compact cars that GM were building at the time. Number one in small car production. Um, here you see a short strike and back to work. Back up on the, the cars doing their job. There's my silver one right there. I drove one just like that. Uh, here is Dave uh, Green, plant um, union chief and president if you will of the local union. A uh, 1112 to be exact. General Motors employees gave all year round not only to the United Way through, general, through um, donations, etc., but along Christmas time, you get it all the different major holidays and all year long. Here is a picture of the one million crews produced, and that was in 2014. At that time, you do the math from 2011 to 2014, three years they come to a million produced. Outstanding. Um, candidate Barack Obama 
um, would visit the plant and he would come back as he became president too. He would come back later. Here is um, there again, union chief, along with workers here uh, at the plant. Uh, here is one of the many car shows they had at the plant. I would come to some of those car shows. Here is a picture of my maroon uh, Chevy Cruze I told you about. That's the last one on. Uh, Here is a hat I bought at the 50th celebration of the plant, which was back in 2016. They were celebrating their 50th year of operation. Plants were uh, a normal sight at, at the, um, if you will, um, tour groups. I was we go on my first tour there when I was in fourth grade to be exact. Here's one of the many car shows that they would hold during the summer months. Uh, cars that were produced at the plant and cars that weren't produced at the plant would come, if you will, during the summer months that they would have a get together. Here you see the paint shop, first body styling coming off. And here's the second one represented. Um, that was the last Chevy Cruze coming off the line. And here's the uh, bumper that would go on that car, or hood cover, I should, bumper cover, I should say. Uh, Lorristown, Arnold Hill, uh, worked closely with the plant through the years. Uh, he served as um, mayor for a good 13 years, I believe, and, and it played a lot of uh, major role in, uh, in trying to always get a good product at the plant. Um, President Dave Green again of the UAW. Um, is here seen launching the campaign, the Drive at Home campaign to be exact, which is trying to create um, an image for the area in the show, GM Lord Town and beyond that we want a car. Um, the city of Youngstown Ohio stands in solidarity. Here the owner of Youngstown Camera standing in a uh, business owner standing in solidarity workers on that day, as I mentioned earlier. Here are three cruises. Um, examples of the a second body generation that was built at the plant. Here's a worker who gleamed in with pride of the product that he produced with his own bare hands. Media interviews Crystal Carpenter as she's leaving. She was one of those 20 members of the 20 year plus club, if you will. The last um, Chevy Cruz rolls off the line picture here a white four door sedan to pay tribute to the white four door uh, Chevy Impala sedan that rolled off the line 53 years earlier. Uh, workers are exiting the plant that is going to be idled here as I said March 6 2019 one of the last carriers leaves the plants with a number of the um, second generation body style cruises as you see pictured there people are leaving the plant over 25 cars were produced at the plant through the years Chevy Caprice and Paula's Bel Air and Biscayne the Pontiac Firebird Chevy Vega a Chevrolet van GMC Ventura Pontiac uh, uh, Astaire, uh, Chevrolet Mazda, Pontiac Sunbird, uh, Buick Skyhawk, Oldsmobile Starfire, Chevrolet Cavalier, of course, Pontiac J2000 slash Sunbirds, and that was the sister car or twin car, Pontiac uh, Sunfire, the Chevrolet Cobalt, Pontiac Pursuit G4 and G5, and the Chevrolet Cruze, of course. I'm Joseph Napier, senior producer of this video short. I thank you for coming along with me as we pay tribute to the V, if you will, GM Lorristown Assembly Plant here in Lorristown, Ohio. God bless the workers that have plant for working there well over 50 plus years. Thank you for coming along with me, people.